Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this easy drum song tutorial. In the next 10 minutes I'm going to try and teach you an entire Arctic Monkeys song, uh, even if you've never played drums before. So the song we're going to be looking at is called I Want to Be Yours, and it's got three basic parts to it, all of which are, are quite similar to each other, uh, so you should be able to pick them up fairly quickly. So the first part we're going to look at is the drum beat that you can see on screen here. And that drum beat sounds like this. So I'm going to teach you how to quickly count out and play along to this beat. Uh, but if you want to look at this beat in more detail, I've actually recorded a video that looks at the sheet music and the dots and squiggles here and exactly what they all mean. Uh, you can check that out, I'll attach a link to that. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to tell you how to count the beat and we're going to tap along. So there are two drums that we're playing on this beat, uh, just to recap from the other video. One is the bass drum, which is on this bottom line here, and the other is the snare drum, which is two spaces from the top. And the count of the beat is as follows. One, two, and three, four. So that beat goes round and round, and you're basically going to want to play your right foot for any bass drum, and your left hand for any snare drum. So it would go right foot, left hand, right foot, right foot, left hand. And the rhythm you're trying to count is one, two and three four so let me uh, let me play this beat for you and see if you can tap along one two and three four and again one two and three four what's happening here is that we're developing our coordination between our right foot and our left hand so how does this relate to the song well, this is the beat at the start of the song, and you're going to play this beat five times round before the lyrics come in. Uh, the first noise you actually hear on the track is the bass drum, this first one, this first one here, and then the second noise you hear is the snare drum, and so on. Uh, for the first bar of music, which is this entire beat here, you actually only hear the drums, so you can hear it really clearly and hear what the beat sounds like and hopefully tap along. Now, I have written exactly how many times each beat turns up in the music before something happens in the description box below. So you don't need to take any notes or anything about how many times to play each beat. It's all written down there and uh, you should be able to navigate your way through the song as a result. So what happens after that initial intro where we play this beat? Well, we're going to play exactly the same beat, carrying on, but we're just going to add a little embellishment at the start of the verse. That's when Alex Turner, the singer, starts his vocal. And what we're going to do is we're going to play a crash cymbal. So th this is what a crash cymbal looks like in music. It's got uh, a sort of star shape, and it sits above the stave, the stave are these five mu musical lines that we put all of our notes on, but the crash cymbal actually sits above it, it's floating in the air above. And we play the crash cymbal with our right hand. So at the start of the verse, after playing five bars, that's each beat going once round is a bar, we play five bars of the beat, and then we play just once this beat but with this little embellishment. So what we're going to do is play our right foot and our right hand at exactly the same time on beat one, and then the beat just continues as normal. I've written out all the times that you're going to need to add that embellishment in the description box below. And for a while, we're going to be just playing that same beat without the embellishment. And then it's time to look at part two. So it's time to look at the second part of the three parts that make up this song. And this part is much, much simpler. It only lasts for one bar of music, uh, 
and it's repeated several times throughout the song. Here's what it looks like. We get rid of the and, and actually we get rid of all of the snare drums. So we're only going to be playing our right foot, which is the bass drum, and we just play it four times over, one on each beat. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And basically, it just brings in the chorus of the song. Uh, it's on the lyric, I want to be yours, and you should be able to hear it. It's just a, a nice little change before the chorus begins. So on to our final beat. Now what I've done is add ride cymbals to the beat. So the bass drum and the snare drums are in exactly the same places as they were before. But now we're adding constant ride cymbals over the top. And the ride cymbal sits in the middle of this top line here, and it's just a little X. There are sometimes different symbols for this, but this is one of the most common and probably the one that you should be looking out for. So the ride cymbals actually follow the pattern of one and two and three and four and. So they play on all the beats and also all the ands. So the first exercise you can try uh, before you have a go with the actual track is just to see if you can tap along one and two and three and four and with the right hand, with your right hand. Let's have a go at that. One and two and three and four and. And again, one and two and three and four and. And without me. So if you use the description box below, uh, you can figure out where the chorus is. And you could literally just do that as an exercise. You don't have to put the whole beat in. Uh, you could just try tapping along with the ride symbol and uh, seeing if you can count one and two and three and four and through the chorus of the song. It actually works anywhere in the song, uh, but it isn't played. Uh, so yeah, probably best use the chorus because then you'll get the ride symbol on the track as a guide. Then the next step of building this beat up is to add the bass drums back in. So we've got a bass drum on the one here, we've got a bass drum on the two and, so one and two and, that's where the second bass drum comes in, and we've got a bass drum on the three. Here. So this is coordination between your right hand and your right foot, and it sounds something like this. One and two and three and four and. And two and three and four and. So this is going to take some practice to get together because you're, you're trying to play two things at once uh, with uh, a hand and a foot, and it takes a bit of time to develop this coordination. Um, so you might understand it quicker than you're able to play it, uh, but don't worry, it does come with time and practice. And uh, you should find that if you just stick consistently to uh, having a go at it every day, it should actually be able to pick it up reasonably quickly. And then the final thing to do is to add the snare drums. So the snare drums are on two and four. And now we have three-way coordination. And this is where you start to feel a bit sick because you're, you're learning to play with three limbs for the first time. Eventually, you'll be able to play with four limbs and uh, speak with your voice <laughs> at the same time, uh, which is uh, definitely horrible to start with, but actually your brain adapts very quickly. And then you'll be able to do it uh, without too much trouble. So let me play you the whole beat and what that sounds like. And this is the beat that you're going to play in the chorus section of the song. So once you can play those three beats, you can actually play the entire song uh, note for note. Uh, you're going to add those crash cymbal embellishments sometimes. I've, I've written out in the description exactly where they are. But that's literally all you need to learn the song. And then 
your practice is going to be more focused around getting the timing of the song down, you know, being able to lock in better with the music um, and learning where the changes are so that you can change to the right beat at the right time. So there you have it, an entire Arctic Monkeys song in 10 minutes. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's been useful to you. Uh, we'd really appreciate it if you could give us a like uh, and click subscribe to our channel. It just helps us to keep putting out these free video lessons. And if you want to learn some more drum beats and some more songs, this video is actually a part of a free course that we're doing called the Beat Breakdown. And it teaches you 30 drum beats over 30 days. And it's across a, a wide range of musical styles. You'll be able to play beats to all kinds of different music. I mean, it's really useful for expanding your creativity on the drum set. So there's a link in the description if you want to enter your email. Uh, yeah, it's completely free. All, all you have to do is, is enter your email and you'll be uh, sent an email every day with a new drum beat and a video on how to learn it. We'll also be attaching the sheet music from today's song, I Want to Be Yours. So rather than having to count through the bars using the description box, uh, you'll be able to actually view it visually on sheet music uh, like I've done with just one bar of music today, but instead with the entire song laid out for you. So you'll get that on day two if you sign up. So comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.